Internal respiration refers to the exchange of gases between the tissues of the body and the systemic capillaries. So let's begin. First, oxygen has been carried to the tissues of the body in the form of oxyhemoglobin, which breaks down to release the oxygen molecules from the hemoglobin molecule. Oxygen is now free to diffuse across the cell membrane into the cells of the body to provide them with oxygen. Hemoglobin binds to the carbon dioxide that is diffusing out of the cell into the bloodstream to form carb amino hemoglobin. Some of the carbon dioxide that diffuses out of the cells of the body will react with water to temporarily form carbonic acid. Carbonic acid breaks down right away to form the bicarbonate ion and hydrogen ions. This then is the source of hydrogen ions that needs to be buffered by the hemoglobin molecule and forms the molecule called reduced hemoglobin. Be aware that some carbon dioxide does diffuse out of the tissues into the bloodstream and simply travels through the bloodstream to the lungs in the form of dissolved carbon dioxide. With the exception of the example of dissolved carbon dioxide, the four formulas listed here are the exact opposite of external respiration. So get to know external respiration really well and then just reverse it for internal respiration. You should know that cellular metabolism refers to the breakdown of glucose and oxygen to produce energy in the form of ATP. During this process, carbon dioxide and water are also produced and are the waste products of this chemical reaction.